1972, a crack commando unit was sent to prison by a military court for a crime they didn't commit. These men promptly escaped from a maximum security stockade to the Los Angeles underground. Today, still wanted by the government, they survive as soldiers of fortune. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the A-Team. Hello, it's me, your favourite Grubby RS Fake, and try for you watching Sega Socks Live. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, support the Patreon. Right, this is the K Lord Gamer here. Any more messing about, and I'll get this banner, but I'll smash it on your head. So here we are in Coventry looking at this. Pretty stunning piece of workmanship, great bollard work. Made a real neat job, really neat job. If you've got a job that needs doing, give these boys a call. Excellent work. Here at Stage One Upholstery Company. Hi Darren, sorry I can't be there tonight, but I'm busy washing my hair. Good luck with the stream and shout out to all the nerds. Hello and welcome back to another quick live stream. Probably just gonna do a quick hour here, but thought I'd play some more Mega Drive games. And uh, without further ado, let's take a look at some Eliminate Down. So I'll press the buttons and uh, hopefully the magic will happen. So I hope everyone's well, or one of our viewers. Hope you're enjoying your Sunday afternoon, certainly coming into evening. I'd consider this tie day to be evening personally. This is another one of those unobtainable games really in regards to uh, price tag. Well, run away. And it's, uh, it's one of those where you've got numerous different ways to fire, I believe three. And these can be upgraded along the way. So we've got our back shot. Of course, the forward motion of fire. And then of course your obligatory sort of scatter shot, as you see there. Great for enemies both above and below you at the same time. Well, I reckon we're gonna need the back shot first. Really give him the big, oh, big shot there, come on. Took him down, straight out of Wormtown. Somewhat just the one viewer, shout out to my mum. Hope you're enjoying your stream. Always found this bit to be quite frustrating, in all honesty. There's so many large rockets doing the rounds. Difficult to sneak in and out of the attack patterns without being pressed into a corner of the screen. As in any of these type of games, it's all about getting powered up. The more powered up you are, the more damage you can deal. It's as simple as that. actually find these mountains in the foreground quite distracting. They do sort of take your eye off the action. If you're not careful. 
As you can see, we've levelled up this weapon significantly. And uh, I think if you put it in slow motion, it would almost look like you were throwing a load of sort of crystal shaped objects out. So it is rather peculiar. And this is always a star to me, really, this first boss. Oh no, what was it doing? I mention it all the time, it's just. I don't know. Just. I think the problem with this game is the reputation it's got garnered on the price it sells for. Rather than the actual quality of the game. But it is a great game, but this boss is just lacking a little bit. It just feels a little bit unfinished, you know. I think they could have gone a little bit further, I think. They could have done a bit more. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Not taking away from the fact it's a great game. And one I would most certainly like to own myself. But not, not for the prices that it sells for these days. We've made it to round two anyway, so that's something. Something more than nothing. Absolutely vast array of bullets being fired at me right at the beginning there. These are so tricky. Excellent tracing effects on the CRT. As they come in and out. You'll see a few of them on this stage. Here we go. And coming from the rear. Oh, caught up in the lasers. Why didn't I just switch to a bit of the rear shot? Look at the size of that rear shot. Impressive. Impressive by anyone's. Anyone's sort of levels. Damn asteroids. Just everywhere in space. It's a nightmare. You, you, can't, you can't fly for five minutes without entering an asteroid field. It's just a nightmare. They're always out there somewhere. Usually just around the corner. Yeah, be careful there. Look at those claws. They're not the friendly sort like Santa claws. They're sort of the more powerful ones that, that grip you tightly. Be not careful. And they get smashed up by those uh, weird lasers. I don't even think this is the actual boss, you know. Just something in between. This is just a side man. That's no guardian. That's just someone who was hanging around. More asteroids. Now exploding asteroids. It's an absolute nightmare out there. Just think, at this time now, Cyanide Breathmint is probably just getting up, getting ready to go to work. Oh! God! So close. Whoa, sneaky. I'm gonna try and try out some of the different shots to rely on the forward, the forward maneuvering shot there. Whoa, wow. Close to death. Oh, let's get the rear out. Hold on. This looks like an extra from Cho and Iki. Double-ended action here. So I've actually moved my camera, you probably can't actually see me. Uh, oh, you might, I don't know if you can or not. I think you might just be able to see me. Oh, ship speed. Is that fast or slower? That's slower, oh man. No, I like fast. I don't like this though. I don't like red in here. I'm really in the danger zone. This is not boding well. Don't like the size of this enemy. <gasps> Should have increased the speed further. I am supposed to be blowing his legs off though. That much has become quite apparent. Oh, have I even anywhere near to blow his legs off? I've run out of shield. Oh, I'm in a lot of trouble. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't put you down to Bob Basic straight away, which is good. I really don't know if I've played any further than this before. It's not jogging any memories. Not only all the other games I've played in the stage like this. <coughs> R-Type. 
What do we need? Should we go for the bombing? Then that could be good. Is it gonna is that gonna get it? I don't know if that's gonna get it. That's what blow me up before. We've gotta get in here and smash this up! Oh but you can't when that's there. Oh now I see. He's gone live. Will there be scan lines? What a game to start on. Will there be scan lines? Is there scan lines? You ask a good question, I don't know. I may have them on mildly. I may have them off. Oh, they are off. I've put them on at 12%. I do think it looks better with the scan lines, personally. I watched back the Bad Omen video earlier. And as much as it looks great, it also... Whoa, that is so troublesome in there. That's definitely where you've got to go, though. Oh, back at the front. Oh, hold on. Bit of action here. Uh-oh. This ain't going to be... I knew it weren't going to be fair this time. Oh, really unfair. Oh, really... Really, really. I can't hang around near that. Getting blasted. I can't do any damage here. Oh, only to myself. Game over. When that OSSC menu comes up, that is streaming. Oh, is it still on? Shit. Hold on. Is that still on? Oh, of course it's... No, it's still on, that is. Right, hold on. That's it. I got it. I got it. I got rid of it. <clears throat> when it stays up, you need more coffee. Yeah, quite, quite likely. It's your fault. Is it still on? No, it's gone now. It's your fault anyway. Messing around with all that sort of stuff. Yeah, we did 12 minutes of Eliminate Down. That wasn't bad. I've moved my webcam to 720p now, so... Now it's bigger, and it's back where it was, so I don't look so strange. But, uh... Yeah, now I've got, now I've, I've, it's smaller, it's smaller in a way. When it stays up, you need more coffee. I don't think I'll be having any coffee at this time of day, to be honest. I think we're uh, done with coffee for today. Coffee sort of ends about, I think it ended about half past twelve today, coffee. That was the last time I seen any caffeine action. The Dark Jedi is streaming. It is a little bit like that, yeah. You know, I've got my hoodie on. That's how I can't hear the neighbours talking about me. What am I going to play? Should we play Haunting? I've seen somebody talking about this earlier on YouTube. And it's a, it's a very unique game. Uh, not particularly brilliant, but uh, unique. I actually own a copy of this. It is a good game. Uh, I just like it for its quirkiness. It's certainly a bit strange. Yeah, I, pro I mean, I have actually cut my hair and, and vaguely shaved. I look slightly more presentable than I did, say, 12 hours ago. Oh, the scan line's showing up on your... Uh screen there Matt there they are those sleazy sardines and their snazzy new home looks peaceful uh, well I've got a radical surprise for them so when they move to their new home scan lines look good okay so that's me green dude hanging on the left I'd like you to meet Flo Sardini oh me oh yeah she can't see me hey hey nope I'm gonna freak her out I'm gonna, what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort of possess a few of these items probably electric guitar maybe the globe try and freak her out Now, press start. Oh! The kids are having a food fight. Great to see. You know, the guy reading his paper and the mum actually eating her dinner. Oh! But now... 
I'm a little bit freaked out by that and uh, it's no surprise great bit of animation there so where we go let's look for some family members ah the dad's in here so let's think about the dartboard now hopefully he doesn't leave the room let's think about the rug oh he's not going to leave the room is he surely oh he didn't even see that what's going on with the dartboard I can't remember how you make this work. Ah, that's it. Dartboard shaking. Now an eyeball comes out. Oh, he's already down. Fear level's low, but now he's seeing the chair. That's licking him. What else can I take over? I've already done the rug. Where's he going to go? I need to get something else quick. Ah, this. Hopefully if that goes... Oh, the Joker! Now he is scared. Fear level is high. Gonna have to go for this, the carpet. Here we go. This could send him packing. This could send him packing. He's out of there. He's left the house. He's gone. He has gone. Hold on. Mental game. Good choice. Crazy cutscene. I go for about 25%. 25% on the scan lines. Really? Just keep it on the low, I think. This was always frustrating part, because... Uh, how do you get out of here? I can't remember. Oh. Yeah, you have to collect this goo. This ectoplasm of sorts. How do you collect it? I cannot remember. Oh, how do you collect it? There's a bit. Yeah, did that, is that collecting it or what? I can't remember how you play this game, to be honest. Yeah, that's the stuff I'm supposed to collect. Oh, I see. I've got to get it when it's fresh. Not mess about. God, how frustrating. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, this bit's a bit strange, I always thought. I felt that it was because they wanted to add some sort of depth to the game other than the continuous, almost Sims-esque uh, gameplay there. And I don't know why this was in here, but it gave you a chance to build up on ectoplasm, which is used to sort of uh, get the old tricks to work. Well, as you sort of possess things, I suppose, is a better explanation. Oh, come on, that was a massive lump I missed. Sad times for the old... The old ghoul. Yeah, this is classic EA. Back when games... You know, oh! Game de games developers weren't afraid of experimenting a little. So, here we are. So, we've been in here. And uh, obviously the dad has flooded the house. The idea is to get all four family members to flee. So you've sort of got to find the rest of them. There's no one in the dining room. Let's take a look in here. There's no one in the drawing room. Okay. Well, we are seeking another family member. That is for certain. Ah, the mum. Let's possess the chair. Probably the dishwasher. Oh, I've done the dishwasher too early. I've done the dishwasher too early. Shouldn't have done that. She's, she's already left the room anyway. Oh, I could have been throwing plates at her. Oh, damn. Complete, completely messed that up. Where's she gone? She freaks out. She's in here. Right. The tree. Do the tree. Tree, get her. And then the clock, hopefully. Tree's getting over, but we can't see it. I don't press the button in case the clock's an instant action one. Oh, she's really freaking out with that. I think one more thing, she's leaving the house. Uh, now the clock wasn't an instant one. She's gonna go near the clock with the eyeball. That's freaking her. Fear level's high. I think she comes to this chair now and I'll jump out. I reckon this could be the one. Look to the chair. 
Need to get her on the chair. The chair's shaking. She's seen it. Yes, the wolf head. That's enough. She's out of there. Very hard. She's got to be leaving, surely. She's got to be leaving. She's leaving. Flo's going. Flo's leaving the house. Look at her. Scared her away. Bit of extra ectoplasm there. Oh, a bit there as well. And that's basically what you do for the entire game. This is the true home gaming fodder. Yeah, this is... Uh... Oh, the mum's still here. I thought she'd left. Flo says she's still going. She's about ready to go, I think. Don't think I've quite got a... The chair should do her. The chair should do her. Oh, now the table's bleeding. She's definitely leaving this time, surely. Got to get all the ectoplasm that they can get. Is she gone or not? She's gone this time. She's left. She's left. I'm running low on the ectoplasm. Class. Let's see where the uh, daughter and son are. Yeah, this is a great game. Is this is the dad? I thought I'd sort the dad out. Clearly, I was mistaken. Oh, he's not seeing it. Oh, he is. Oh, he's got his trousers around his ankles like that. Come over here, Sid. No, Vito. Don't, the trouble is, you don't know if it's. Uh, he's seen that. Problems with the washer dryer. Definitely issues. Oh, look at the wood saw. Oh, man. <laughs> He's a little bit scared now. He didn't like that. Let's see what he thinks of the bin. I'm nearly out of ectoplasm now. That's the only problem. Oh, it's a rat. Brilliant. Oh, there's loads of rats. <laughs> oh, no. Come back to ectoplasm world. Oh no. I'm getting beat up to get that. Whoa. Yes, it's a strange game, but it's an enjoyable game. I do like a lot of the electronic arts, electronic arts titles on the Mega Drive. I think there were some uh, really good offerings from them. Oh, look at that big blob there. Don't even know if I got that. Definitely got that. Oh, I'm not. And that. And that. Oh, that's a massive blob of ectoplasm. I don't know if it's actually called ectoplasm. Is that not sort of copyright for Ghostbusters? Quite likely. Quite likely. Ooh. Spicy. Gonna go for the little jig? Yes. Do the dance. This is the arcade action bit. Oh, Dad, is he going or what? I think he's leaving town. I think there might be a bit more ectoplasm to go around here. Come on. Where's the sun gone then? Dad's definitely left town now. That's the front of the house. I don't remember having this many issues finding the rest. Of There's Mum, she's still here. She's got to go, Flo has. Look. There's something in the drawer flow. <laughs> Which way is she going? She's going that way. Let's get on the top of this doorway. <gasps> Look at that. Yes. Fear level's high. Oh, will she come over to this? The bookcase. Come over to the bookcase. Everything's fine. Oh, no, she's going the other way. seen it moving she's gonna go and check it out that's freaking her out 
Well, them candles are pretty hardcore. Oh, I've gone in the wrong room. Not wise. Come on, Flo. Is she going or what? Where's she going? She's still in there. Will she even see the blood coming out of the carpet? Yes, you'll see it. Come on, get her going. Oh, she's running away again. I've wasted some of my ectoplasm in the TV. She's still here. I can't understand this. Must just be not quite doing enough. This should freak her out now. Some roses that turn to blood. What else we've got on? Surely this chair. This will do her. This will do her. Yes. <laughs> Turns into some kidneys or something. Very high. Come on. Must be so close. What's this clock going to do? Come on, get round to the clock. Oh no, she's not going to go to the clock. I can't ever remember it being this difficult. Got to be gone now. Look at that. Old suit of armor sent her to very high. She goes and over to see the tree now. Yes, surely. Oh no. We're back to ectoplasm world. So I probably ought to play something else because this, uh, you know, these are the sort of games that you just sort of melt into and you end up playing them for like an hour. Usually it's a lot easier. To uh, rid the house of the guests. I'm not quite sure what I'm what I'm missing. Why I'm struggling. Oh no! Grab by the ghoulies. The thing is, you have to always collect them. It's annoying. It's just hard to understand the context behind this. Other than, like you say, it's maybe to give it an arcade element, but really it's... Oh! What's in the net there? Watch out for that big gaping hole in the ground. Whoops! What? How much ectoplasm does one man need? What are you saying now? It's back up this way. Whoa! Got sucked into that. That's the way out of there. I think it would get boring if it didn't change. This has fighting elements, strategy and fear factor. Yeah, it does get boring. Uh, it's just so unique that it's a game where you, you know you scare people. And look at these hornets coming out now. It's just fantastic. The animations. It's just one to definitely worth owning. I think she's out of the house anyway. She's gone. Flo's gone. You have to wait for it. it says Flo's gone. But uh, yeah, it does. It does potentially get boring. But there is certain strategy to what sort of elements to activate in order to, you know, lure the family into false pretenses and scare them to death. But uh, I'm struggling to find the rest of them. Vito's around somewhere. It says he's around. Oh, here he is. Hey, Vito. Let's do a few things and see if we get him. Really freaked out on the third level low. What happens if it goes near that chair? Oh, it turns to a cannon. I mean, once you've seen all the things, it kind of uh, it loses its appeal. But I just think it's fantastic. The actual idea, the concept, the execution—it's done well. 
you know, it's done really well. You know, he's bricking it now. He's running away somewhere. Where's he going? Is he leaving the house? I think he, Vito's gone. He's gone. He is out of there. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this is the basic concept of the game. I will put something else on because uh, I'm aware we've probably been playing this for about the best part of about 18 minutes. So we'll put something else on. But, uh, yeah, it is a good game. Yeah, having the camera there it also alleviates the crutch cam. We've not got that going on. Nice work. Yeah, it's not a bad game, not a bad game. One I'm definitely keen to keep in the collection. I was really keen to get hold of it because I remember hiring it out and thinking it was like weird. But weird in a good way, you know. Not weird as in like, in a bad way. <laughs> Obviously. This is actually the games that I own, or have owned, because some of them I don't own now, but most of them I do. Let's play some Jungle Strike, talking about EA. Let's play some Jungle Strike. This is pretty, uh, pretty fantastic, I think, in terms of Mega Drive games. I remember buying this. I remember buying this actual copy. I've got well, not the one that's in the Mega Drive, but the one I got in my game cupboard. I bought it at the car boot sale off someone. I think I bought it off them for maybe a pound, and they had uh, an ice hockey game. And I said, "Oh, I don't really want that." And I got down about the second aisle, and the guy come running behind me. He says, "Hey, up, mate, mate, mate!" I was like, "Yeah, what?" He was like, "You might as well take this game because no one else is going to want it." And uh, give it for free. I'm sure it was ice hockey. It was something like that. It was something I didn't want. But I had it. This is perfect storm from vocation. I have a nice new beer from them actually. Like I can see it, yeah. I like the can art. Simple. Well, I, I like things of a nautical theme, so. But that, uh, that old boat on the front, it certainly ticks the boxes for me. It's rather scrumptious. 6.6% New England Pale Ale. Not bad at all. Slightly bitter finish, but not, not particularly actually. Yeah, it's refreshing, it's nice. So this was, I remember when this came out, it was mega. Absolutely mega. Well, you've got to think carefully. So you've got to protect the monuments. I know this. It's got this is different uh, things. Terrorist HQ. Uh, car bombs. It's a mystery. Agent Akbar. It's a mystery as well. Motorcade or a mystery. We'll start on number one monuments. See how we fare. I'm not saying I do particularly well. Of course. But uh, what differed this one from Desert Strike, the game that came before it, which was another fantastic game, was... Oh my, they're absolute beasts, I think. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's just men. Yeah, what, what differentiated this from Desert Strike was the fact that you actually had different vehicles you could be. I think there's a stealth fighter. There's all kinds of different things. And it just it just made it that a little bit more refreshing. It also had a great storyline, and of course at the time it had incredible graphics as well. I mean, yes, today the isometric viewpoint does seem to have dated somewhat, but I still think it plays extremely well. That's probably an ammo truck, you know. Yes. I'll take that. Exclusive game room tour. Change back to game screen. Oh shit, sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I do that. I've done that a few times, you know. I've done that a few times. Oh, I've been bigging up this game. You know, I haven't seen it. Oh well. Jungle Strike. You've heard me talking about it. Now, see the game in action. This is the second part of the monuments. We had some serious heavy duty armour. 
in the last bout. I was shot down an ammo truck, picked up some ammo, and now I'm back with the light rockets. And I think that monument is safe. No, it's not safe. There's still going to be some men somewhere in the grounds. Probably with some RP. Oh, some happy campers. Get out of town. Oh, struggling to pick them up. Is that monuments free? That's monuments free. And hello, hello, great Jonesy. Hey man, hey Carl, how's it going? Just uh, just playing a few Mega Drive games for an hour or so. All we've played so far, Eliminate Down, Haunting, and uh, now just having a brief look at Jungle Strike. Don't want to get too sucked into some of these games because they are the sort that uh, you can end up spending hours on. Although weather actually fair well enough to uh, play for that length of time remains to be seen because uh, this game's pretty brutal but absolutely rewarding again I keep saying it someone's going to compile the list soon they'll say you've said it about 25 games already this is top 25 this is on Mega Drive this is an absolutely essential game oh get the big boys out for these this is what was present in them. Oh no! Oh, low armor. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Now, what we have got? Have we got any armor? How do you get armor? Oh, I can't remember. Right, low armor now, so I've got my wits about me. Otherwise, I'm going to get blown up. Oh, it dust out of range. He shot me straight away. Oh well. We don't want it to be a particularly long gameplay, do we? Oh, I've nearly run out. Didn't refresh my bombs. Damn you. Oh, no, no, I've got nothing. Now I do need ammo. Luckily, we've got the map here. Ammo trucks. There's one just around the corner. Just down this road. Come on. You're somewhere near. There you are. I've only got machine gun, but that'll do. I just thought this was incredible back in the day, especially in Desert Strike, the fact it could winch down and collect things. As you've seen those picked up some uh, ammo. And of course this grid referencing, it's much like uh, travelling around Milton Keynes. This is the Library of Congress. Not sure if there's any rioters here the other day. Am I even in the right place? I am in the right place. Warning, low fuel. God, it's so real time. Low fuel, I've got to find fuel. Hopefully that's the last of the enemies. Now I've got to find fuel. Luckily, some just around the corner. There's a desert-like looking patch somewhere around here. There we go. The winch goes down. And off we go to collect. Do you have any of these PS2 games? Auto Model Easter, SSX Tricky, Tokyo Siren Racer. I've had... I haven't got any of them now. I've had Auto Model Easter before. Never really give it the playtime it deserved because uh, apparently it's really good. Uh, SSX Tricky played it to death. I don't have it anymore. And Tokyo Sai Ryan Racer. No, I don't have that now. Uh, looks neat. All right, Carl. Extreme. Hey, Matt. Extreme Racing. No, I've got my PS2. It's, un it's under the television or rack at the minute. But I'll, I'll definitely get it back out at some point. That's the mistake I've made in the past. Thinking I won't get it back out. Absolute armor repair destroyed. Yes, done a mission. So we'll probably just do one more mission, shall we? Otherwise, uh... but yeah, this is cracking. It's when you play. For oh, look at that man on the street there. The blood come out of him. Oh, oh, oh! My God, I'm in turmoil. Shot from everywhere. Uh, when this came out, honestly, if you was there, you you would have heard about it. This was absolutely bonkers. Every magazine, whatever it was, me machines, so th these were all giving it 91, 95 percent, and rightly so at the time. It was uh, it's just unbelievable. What am I supposed to do at terrorist HQ? Blow the buildings up? Typically American, isn't it? So I've got to blow that building up, see if there's any terrorists in there. I'm not even joking. That's what you have to do. Do I rescue one of these men? Yes. Oh, some sort of secret intelligence is coming. Is 
this even the right place? No. Blowing up an innocent building there. When you look at these games, you can easily see how we end up making The Sims. I almost feel like, graphically, the way it's set out. Oh, come on. He's a soldier we've got to pick up. Where's he going? Yeah, anyway, I, I, I can draw comparisons personally, but... I'll send them out to you. They're pretty beaten, but yours if you want them. All right, yeah, and a nice one. No, cheers. That'd be great. I wonder how much fuel I've got. That's definitely ammo, which is handy. Incredible in a war zone that the enemy would be wandering around with ammo crates that would that would uh, a be easily accessible and b compatible with your uh, vehicle of choice. I suppose that's the convenience of video games, isn't it? But not that you would have thought about this in when did this game come out? Ninety three, probably ninety three. I'm thinking maybe ninety four. I'm feeling ninety four, but somewhere around then, I'm sure. Maybe it was ninety two. Anyway, terrorist HQ. You can tell where the terrorist HQ is because there's always a man in the crossroads firing an RPG. He's got a passing helicopters. Another one there as well. It's given the big rockets. Oh, look at that massive tank thing around his back. Oh, it's nothing. Another man come out of the front there. An intelligence info. Check status. I know how the embassies are going to be attacked. The car bombs you were looking for are green station wagons. Well, we've got the info there. Nice one, no worries. Bit of stuff from the loft clear out. Sean's on at eight. Really? No. Really, is he going to be on at eight? That's crazy. Can't believe he's going to actually be on. Well, I'll be tuning in. That'll work, that'll work well, because uh, I'll definitely need some food by that point in time. Must be careful not to blow up any any innocent buildings. Whoa! Of course, it's the it's a terrace hangout. Whoa! Look at that bloke with the car. Is he just filling up with fuel, or has he got a bomb? Whoa! Low armor. Low armor. How do we get armour? Hammer? No. There's no armour. We get armour. Oh no. Oh no. That could be it. I think you do get one more life. That sneaky Russian on the corner. Yes. Armour repair destroyed. So yeah, I'll probably leave it there on this game. Game giveaways are superb. I heard it on the nerds. Heard it on the nerds, I've not checked. So it'll be live tonight. Wow. Yeah, well, I'll be there. Yeah, it's a jungle out there. That's what makes this community... What well, game giveaways or uh, Sean being uh, streaming tonight at eight? Both are a great gift, to be honest. You know, because Sunday evening, I mean, what's happening? They haven't even got Last of the Summer Wine on nowadays. You know, that's probably banned. So there's not a lot to get excited about, is there? Really, to be honest. Uh, as I keep saying, when you've watched all the stuff you want to watch, there's nothing left to watch. It might sound obvious, but it's really true because they're not making not much new stuff coming out. I'm getting all the words. <laughs> Half the words are missing. <laughs> I sound like I should be on the undateables. And that's without the headphones on. 
Uh, you're right, mate. Oh dear. Rampart. No, I didn't like Quack Shot. No, I'm no good at that. Yeah, this is the downfall. Lists of games. It's not. It's not interactive enough. Why didn't they do it so you can see? Like at least on the Neo Geo one, you get like a little screenshot of the game. It just, it just sort of makes it a little bit easier to actually make a choice. I tell you what, I played a game earlier. I'll put it on now. Never played this game in my life. I didn't even know it existed. I had no idea. It was a complete and utter surprise. Championship pool. I was no good at it, but I just thought, wow, I've never. Oh, you know, how long has this system been out? About 106 years. I'd never, ever heard of this game. I think it was American exclusive. But I'm obsessed with uh, pool and snooker games. I think they're great. Look at this Bitmasters. They sound like they're from the UK, don't they? Bitmasters. Uh, Mindscape. They're definitely from the UK. BCA. That sounds like the British something association. The British Championship Pool Association. The Billiard Congress of America presents Championship... The Bitmasters. I'm a champion. I'm going to go for a tournament. I think in the UK it's 8 ball, isn't it? Because the ball's got an 8 on it. So, do I want brake type? Manual? Auto I don't automatic brake. Yeah, I'm in America. Some sort of competition. There's 32 people there. I've got five matches against tough opponents. There's no way we'll get beyond one match. Here's my worthy opponent, Randy. Yeah? Now, you would always choose heads. If this was realistic, it would land on heads. If it lands on tails, this simulation is, is outdated straight away. Let's see. That looks like tails. No. Inaccurate. Sold a GameCube in 13 games today. Went in five minutes. Great deal, obviously. Carl's deals, laughing out loud. Oh, you got that in before I mentioned it. 13 games. Yeah, I mean, I do. I did have a GameCube. I wish I kind of kept it so I could play the Star Wars game. But I've got to be realistic, you know. What the funk is happening? Is that, have they already broke? I should know. I played this earlier. I'm asking you what's happening. You've probably never seen it. Stri Am I stripes or not stripes? Right, okay. Uh, we're back in. We're back in the zone here. I think I'm stripes. This just blew me away. Look, this, the way it shows you where the shot goes. Oh, you know that makes sense. In it goes. I uh, may or may not have hit the right ball in. I think I hit the right ball. Yeah, it's just so bizarre this game. Look, it tells you where the ball goes. But uh, when I played it earlier, I should have made a video. <laughs> I'm not joking. The first shot potted about three balls, including the black. <laughs> right, where's, the, where's, how can I say what are stripes now? I can't tell which ones are stripes anymore. Uh-oh. What have I done? Oh, meal, what's this? I didn't know this was an option, no. What's, oh no, I've pressed the button. Oh no, I don't know what's happened. Set spin. Never. This is an option for never mind. What does that do? I can't tell which ones are stripes and which ones are solid. They all look like solids. I don't know which one I'm supposed to hit. I'm going to have to go for that. I don't know if that was right or not. I maybe get reprimanded for that. You failed. You failed to contact the ball in your group first. GameCube, neat machine. Having trouble getting through the walkers level on Rogue Leader. There was a couple of Star Wars games in the bundle. Yeah, the Star Wars games are good. Right, I don't know what happened there. Have I gone into some weird mode or something? I don't think this is... This is 8 ball. Should I have gone on 9 ball or something? Well, solids have gone in anyway. Solids seem easier to uh, work out which ones they are. God, I can't, I can't uh, work out what the. Oh God, is that the white ball? I have no idea. 
Yeah, it's a pretty good pull game, I think, on the GameCube. Oh, oh, that's a nice shot. That's beautiful. That's a bad shot. I'm really fumbled myself here, I think. I mean, to be honest, there's not a great deal of skill in this, is there? Because uh, it tells you where the ball's going. The, the the most amount of skill in this game is actually knowing if you're correct, it's in the correct ball, which of course I'm not. So uh, I think we'll give up on championship pool, but I think this this I don't know. Maybe I'm choosing this. This could have been a good game if it's not a good game. That's what I'm saying. Well, yeah, Star Wars games on the uh, GameCube, really good, really, really good. Uh, but there weren't enough to convince me. The thing that annoyed me with my GameCube was that I had uh, third-party controllers, you know. It, it weren't, it, they weren't no good, really. Yeah, so I bigged up that championship pool game, and then in reality, when I played it, I didn't like it. Do you know what, this Liberty or Death, I think it's some sort of strategy game. I had this earlier, I was playing this earlier, and uh, I picked some game and I thought, this sounds like some sort of role-play game, and I think it must have been like a, a, a localised version for for like uh, English speakers, so it was definitely a Japanese role-playing game. Mystical Fighter. Is that good? I don't think that's going to be good, is it? I think we should play it, though. What's the worst that could happen? It's bad. It's not like I bought it, is it? Oh, so it tells me this is bad. I'm seeing that red face and thinking I played the Japanese version of this. I don't know. I don't know, actually. This could be the sequel. Mystical Fighter. What have I played? Ninety-two. I don't know. This one. This one is. Uh, is it? A f ah. It's a scrolling beat em up. I don't know. I don't know this. Don't know this. Don't think I've played this before. If I have, I can't remember it. Oh wow. This is pretty good. What? This is better than Golden Axe. All the familiar moves. Look at that! Yeah, get out of town. Now I wonder if Cedar's magic. No. Just you, you're Bob Basic. These give you some sort of potions. It's not quite that gold max enough. No, I don't think I've ever played this. This is just some random game. I don't even know if it's a real game. For some reason, on my screen, the time, I'm missing most of the word time, just got the bottom half of the word time. The rest is over scanned out of there. Yeah, it surprised me that you got to go to the right. I'm glad they give you a reminder because I was wondering which direction to go. There were so many other obvious choices. And oh, then you don't even go anywhere. I literally went two centimetres and uh, one thing I will say about this game is it's a shame they, don't, they haven't got a name for the characters, I like that, to sort of familiarise myself with the people I'm fighting against. Hold on, these are the lampshade wearers, these are well renowned in feudal Japan, people who would literally wear lampshades on their head. A weird Samurai Showdown 2 vibe from those little sort of demon things. It's sort of a lower resolution version. And this looks like E Honda dressed in dressed in his winter clothes. Look at that, that's beautiful though, that, that move. Oh no, it didn't even work. Oh no, I've died. I like the way even though they're the same oh, what was that? Even though they're the same character, they've uh, they've made the effort to put them in different colour palettes so they look somewhat, you know, unique. 
Boing, perfect. That's the car polishing move. Norbrek lampshade next year for the game room. Exclusive Norbrek hotel lampshade. They've probably got the same light fittings as me at the Norbrek hotel. These things are a bit weird. When you don't, you don't understand. I don't understand the uh, what this game's about. I don't know the backstory. Is this, is this something? Is this something in Japan? This this character is he like hosting breakfast TV or something? Usually, this was just like a little game. He did as a side project. I don't know. I don't know the context of this game. Well, no, it's quite good. It's quite good. And I say that because uh, I've managed to beat a few people up, so that's my definition of good when it comes to these type of games. And my character, he seems like some sort of drunken ninja style type guy, but he's got a serious amount of hair. And it's impressive because it comes out the back and the front, so that's how much hair he's got. As someone who once had long hair, I think I literally had about 10% of this guy's hair, if I was lucky, at my absolute peak. He's got a, I mean, if that, unless that's some sort of special hat, but incredible hair. I would rate his hair 9 out of 10. Yeah, in fact, it's some of the most impressive hair I've seen on the Mega Drive. It could be top 10 hair pieces on Mega Drive, this. Look at that. Double fisting them, two at a time. And then some. Who throws that in? Well, oh, best pick it up. Who throws the dairy milk in? It just comes out of nowhere. It just seems to be a reward. There's a lot of unanswered questions with this game. This was definitely not released in Europe. Oh, did you see that? I don't. Why have we had to wait 20 minutes to see that? Amazing throw. Let's do another. Oh, I couldn't do it. Yes. Oh, it's almost worth sustaining a hit just to whip out that throw. What the hell? What the monkey? What the hell is going on? <laughs> uh, I could throw this guy down. I could just carry him around all day if I wanted. I don't really have to. Oh, hello. Wow, the throw. There's there's some depth to the throw. Here we go again. I'll just do this all the time, sort of tickle him. I know he can't get away. The strength of this guy. I mean, must, the car. Oh, dude, look at that. The pile driver. Straight out of WWF slash E slash whatever it's called now. Oh, oh my God! Through the fat boy at the other fat boy. This game's brilliant. I'm going to give this game 9 out of 10, and I've only played one level. I think we'll go through them doors, that's what I'm thinking. A lot going on now, them demons have come back. Decent amount of animation in this game, to be fair. I'll save other home furnishing questions for 8 p.m. What time is it, Matt? I can see it's 8, 8, it's, it's 6.29. I just looked on my £209 clock and it says it's 6 29 So that's handy. It's handy I could see it in that 15mm uh, by 15mm square. So this is officially the warm up pack then for the 8pm. How close should we shave it, do you think, Matt? Oh, what the f I thought I died then. I thought that knife had hit me in the head. I just want to thought things couldn't get any weirder. Some sort of big flaming lion just pops into the screen. Oh, and floors me in one hit. I don't care about the cruelty to animal section here. This lion has took the Michael too much. How are you supposed to avoid that? 
Lovely. We'll take it to the zoo. Not that much more to do because it gets angry, you see. And it does that. Is that. Oh, come on. That wasn't to be anticipated. That's it. Well, it should have stayed in the zoo at the end of the day. Oh, been rewarded there. Stage one clear. Who thought we'd get there? I hope Ben drops in on his way to work laughing out loud. Oh, that'd be so depressing though, knowing he was going to work. You're missing such a great stream as this. I forgot we need to look down there now, but then again, the picture is tiny. I think we've got the angles wrong. That would be dope. Mate, I've lost your address. Can you still private message via YouTube? No, you can't, no. I've still got your address because uh, it's in the uh, it's in the game case for Daytona 2001. <laughs> uh, no, um, I mean you can contact me on Facebook, Instagram, or you know. Uh, well, if I give you my phone number, then that's the easiest thing. But then I suppose I probably shouldn't do it on here. I don't know. What, what what ways do you? Keep, I mean, I, I I haven't got I have got Twitter, but I don't know how to activate it. It's been a long time since I went on there. Definitely got Instagram. Definitely got Facebook. Uh, I mean, I've got email. Should you give that out in here? I don't know what you should do. No, but for some reason they took away the messaging service from here. Which is a, a, a blessing and uh, a pain in the arse as well, really. It's one less thing to have an avenue of communication. Because, I mean, a lot of time... I mean, not that not that it was, you know, a problem, but uh, a lot of time the private messaging, if you started in a, a messaging thing with someone, it would just go on and on for months. It would just, you know, this was real. I suppose this was really before like instant messenger, other than you know Microsoft. What did they used to call it? Hotmail. Other than Hotmail, uh, you know, th th this WhatsApp and Messenger that didn't exist, did it? So you know, the the private message was a was a was a was a was a, was a good way of communicating, I suppose. But. Uh, yeah, nowadays, they've got rid of it. But I can't really, uh, can't really slate YouTube too much because I think the live streaming aspect's pretty decent, really. It certainly seems to work well, I think. Compare, I mean, I've got, I mean, not to sound like I'm vintage too much, but if you look back at my channel, there's live streams from about six years ago when it was. It was Google something, Google Hangouts or something like that. And on there, like recording a CRT. So, you know, if you compare today's streaming compared to that, then uh, we really have made waves. Not only in the quality factor, but in also the the services available, and and all for free, of course. We must uh, must remember that. You know, I don't pay YouTube anything to uh, to use these services. And I don't think they're, they're not earning any money out of me, really, are they? Let's be honest. They're earning nothing out of me. I'm actually a burden on their service. There's people out there earning them a fortune, and uh, you know, I can barely keep right said friend on the road. So. Oh, I love that throw. <laughs> He's just hilarious. <laughs> He's such a beast. He doesn't care how big anyone is. Just lift him straight above his head. Imagine this guy, world strongman. He would be really, really decent. Sean on eight. Imagine that. What a Sunday. I haven't felt this pump since uh, Songs of Praise was on. He could be the Harry Seacombe. Could be the, the the new age Harry Seacombe. Someone's got who's no one's replacing Harry Seacombe. Mm. 
Not, I must say though, not that I ever enjoyed Songs of Praise. I used to find it absolutely offensive <laughs> that it was even on television, to be honest. Wow, look at the size of this guy. What do I, do I need to collect these? Why is it just always chocolate bars? Is that what, is that how people eat in Japan, just chocolate? I could probably get on a lot there. I don't think this is going to work out well going one to one with the troll. Oh, the slide though took him down. Oh my, he is really angry. Oh, I don't know who's coming out of this worse, me or troll face. I think he's coming out of it worse. I reckon he might be dead. Oh, his brother's here now, redhead. You can tell he's angry. The colour of his skin. Is that the same guy? It's really it's a strange looking person. Oh, no, I give him a chance there. I'll let him lie down and just get a bit of a rest. Oh, come on. This wasn't in the... What? Hold on, what's happened? What the hell has just happened? I think that was a magic attack. Completely unintentional. I have no idea how that happened. Did I press all three buttons or something like that? I don't know how that happened. I don't think there's a clear cut button for activating that. I'm just doing that. What's happened? No, I can't. I, I can hit. I can hit. Whoa. When he goes purple, nurple. Stay out of the way. Could that be the end? I think that's the end of stage two. I've never been so good at a game. I've got Insta. I'll try contact that way. Yeah, it's Mr. Stella Boxhead on Instagram. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, haha, I ain't really moved with the times. WhatsApp or Twitter laughing out loud. No Facebook, WhatsApp or Twitter laughing out loud. Ski Sunday, yes. The songs of praise after party laughing out loud. Ski Sunday, nice. Oh, didn't, didn't, I think when, when, didn't Bullseye used to be on on a Sunday? And then it went bad, didn't it? Then it was like, it was like Last of the Summer Wine, Songs of Praise. It was bad, weren't it? Sundays were bad. They were really bad. When them programmes were coming on, you knew your weekend was over. I think it was propaganda, you know. Because of course, on Friday night, you had all your classics, didn't you? Like, you've been framed and the generation game and all the lovers monotonous quiz shows that nobody actually really liked. Well, I've just come all the way over here. Can you not just fall into the bottomless pit? Oh, it's throwing shurikens at me. The cheek of it. In ninjas nowadays. Look at that, dropping drugs. I've seen that. Come on, come over here, purple. Oh, sh God damn. You lose a knife at such an important time. I, f I feel like going on a bullseye binge, I think. I need to go back and just watch all the bullseyes. I also absolutely adore Bullseye. I love the I love the prize thing when these that I'm sure everyone was the same. Love that. Love to see what they had to win. The caravans, the Austin Metros, the cookery sets, you know, everything. The hi fi the Sanyo hi fi system. You know, I loved all that stuff. The Bush hi fi system. Of course the speedboats. Alright, well we've not had this before, what is it? Some sort of birds, buzzards, these are problematic. Oh, kick to the head, it's all over. That's life. That's life. Oh! This ninja really, he has gone on and on. Come on, purple. Come 
Oh, that throw is devastating. Abs oh, not as devastating as falling down that hole. Though. I think that pill thing I've got is the magic. Now's not the time to use it though. If it is the magic. These bird things are annoying, if that's what they are. Whoa, hold on. This looks like the boss. I'm going to press the C. Yeah, that is magic. That's what them pills are. Oh no, I've missed. What the funk? If I only had got him in that. Oh, I funked it right up. I only had one of them. Jeez. Oh, and then I died by falling down a hole. <laughs> Brilliant. Yes, very well done. So yeah, we'll put something else on. But this is a good game. I like this. I'd give this game a strong rating, definitely. So we'll probably play one more and then uh, call it an evening. And then we're, we're back at eight, apparently. So I'll have to get myself something to eat and get myself prepared. Well, yeah, it should be pretty good. 8 p.m., you say? I would say I'd check the message, but God knows. I've got that many things at the side of me. I can't find the actual phone, so... Find a lot of joy in this USA folder at the minute. Stuff I'm not, not too familiar with, which I, I like to see. Uh, oh, Nigel Mansell's World Championship Racing. It's finished a bit of racing. Do you remember the F1 always used to be on Sundays, didn't it? I think it still is now, isn't it? I don't, I don't follow it, so... Nigel Mansell, it's tempting. It's tempting. I'm not feeling it. Outrunners, we tried that not long ago. Quad Challenge, one of the worst rated games on the Mega Drive. Don't think we'll go there. We've got to finish on some at least half right. Rock and Roll Racing, uh, not feeling it. Road Blasted, we've seen it too much. Um, oh, that's something really bad. Rastan Sega 2. I think we should check that out, yeah. This is a bad one. This is a bad one. People don't rate this. Again, years ago, this people would people would give this away to you on eBay. If you'd pay the postage, they would send you a copy of this game. Everyone hated it. But I suppose now, it's probably collectible. Rastania was a sacred place in which the temple skyscraper soared into the sky. Too much, too much sky in that sentence, I would say. Hold on, don't take off. Has it already started? I didn't even I didn't even select to start, but So as you can see, things have changed somewhat since the Rastam that you may well know and love. They decided it'd be a good idea to increase the sprite size by 15. 15,000. And uh, as you can see Things are a little bit more, shall we say, chunky. Do we see the serpent? He's not happy. But I've picked up the fire for my sword. I don't know how that's happened actually. So I believe this is one of the worst reviewed games for the Mega Drive when it was first released. I think this is quite a quite an old title. Of course, I'm about to grow a strong affection towards it because of its complete awkward clunkiness. That does no, in no way mean that it's a decent game. Oh, I don't even know if that was good for Rastan. Rastan 2. He does look a bit more sliced lo Stallone in this. Excuse me. I like it. Look at that, the shield above his head. That's handy. You get some real hard hail. That will certainly protect one. Oh, he cannot turn while in the air. He must turn first. He does not have the animation in order to do that. Well, the Clunkmeister has made it to the end of the screen. Oh, chunky monkey. Oh, that gold is running all over me. Oh, down he goes, the pile driver. Do 
not let this guy loose in the Amazon warehouse, no one will be getting anything. No way he destroys boxes. He hates them. He hates Christmas, last done to us. And Easter. You wait till you get to the egg level. You'll smash all them as well. Ah, oh, we are in the castle. Is this the boss? I don't think I've ever endeavoured to play this far. I'm really dying. I'm really dead. Oh, I'm back. Got any magic? Sly? He's got nothing. I'm even hurting this thing. No, if it don't flash, you ain't hurting it. It's me bashing it in the balls versus it bashing me in the head. It's just whoever's going to last the longest. I don't know if this boss is on Duracell, I'm dead again. I'm really going in for the action now. How much can this boss take? Finally. Finally, I took him down. I have opened a fire. Now I am determined to hold my ground at any cost. Moves like Robocop. Last time I make that joke, laughing out loud or not laughing out loud. Okay, quick bet. How far behind comments will Sean get tonight? I reckon he'll be, he'll be fully on form for the comments tonight. I mean, he's been asleep all day, hasn't he? So he's been resting well. What is it? I can't even beat them things up. Come on. Can the enemy get any smaller? I've refused to fight people of that size. Well, the old block boshers. Oh, picks them up there. I wonder what it meant. I meant I'm going to die soon. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever play this far into Rastan 2. I don't think anyone has, actually. This could be the first anyone has ever played. Phone Norris McWhirton and let him know. Oh no, he's gone. Well, phone someone from the uh, Guinness Book of World Records and let them know. Rastan 2. Level 2 unlocked. They didn't say it was possible. They didn't think it was possible. They didn't think anyone would have the mentality to get this far, but we've managed it, we've made it. Some interesting enemy designs, and then there's some really questionable ones. It's just so clunky. God, it's a chunky clunky masterclass. It's the top 10 chunky clunky games you can get. Look at that, that's so weird. Oh, I fell straight down a hole. That wasn't good. So weird. He jumps better than he walks. Well, it's good down here, though. Can he actually... Sh can he actually... Yes. Oh, here's old... Uh, it's like a ram skull on that guy from uh, Altered Beast. Strange, uh, strange combination. Luckily, all we have to do is get to the end of the screen. We get some more. Oh, come on, look how close that is. Come on. You will not move, you bastard. Absolute bastard. Gotcha. He's left some up there. Can you backtrack? That used to be a thing in games, didn't it? If you could go back. Do you remember when you couldn't go back? Like this game, you can't go back. I can't go back and get that. Yeah, do you remember when you could go back? Revolutionary. What was the first game you could go back? Was it Mario? I think that's the first game I can remember. I don't think it was Mario 1 then, was it? I think it was Mario 3. This is like a 1970s TV drama. Awful when you can't go back. Another great version of this is on the PC Engine. Oh dear. This was released on PC Engine. It's not great, it's not great, it's got a very stinky reputation, but uh, I don't know. Like all of these games, I wish I bought them when it was five bob. I wish I bought it then. But um, yeah, well I think I'll call it uh, an evening anyway, I know it's not been too long, but uh, I want to get something to eat, and then if we really have got a stream at eight, then I'll have to prepare myself, I suppose. Mind you saying that... We've got, oh, it's, it's only 10 to 7. Let's do another 10 minutes, go on. I need to go to the toilet, but I think I could, I think I could hold it that long. Now, I've got to, got to end on a good game then now. It's got to be something good. Not, not, enough, not, not that, not Rastan 2. Come on, we can't end on that. Caesar's Palace, that's not a good game. Don't choose Pisa's, Caesar's Palace. This is where you can end up in a lot of trouble here in, J in Japan. Cutie Suzuki Ringside Angel. 
Go on then. <laughs> oh, no, I said it ended a good game, but I was lying. It's like uh, when I went to the doctors and he said, uh, I should drink more whiskey. And, and uh, what I meant by doctor, no, I got this wrong, no. I went to the doctors and he said I should drink more water. By doctor, I meant me. And by water, I meant whiskey. That's it. I once had this game. Uh, it was a real sweaty copy though, I tell you. It had some questionable mould on it. It probably would have contaminated my entire game collection. But uh, you can see why I was kind of attracted to the game. Because Cindy Nakano, age 19. And she sure knows how to move uh, people into certain positions. Kingdom Kato, at 20. She's still got plenty to offer on the wrestling circuit. And let's not forget, Kaiwe Katahara, who is... Uh, She's, she's somewhat got a strange reputation due to her ability to headbutt everyone, but Kyuji Suzuki, she plays by the book. And she puts in a mean suplex. So, uh, yeah. Oh, look at that. It's a, oh, why did I sell this game? I could have got that mould removed. I could have watched. I could have watched for hours and hours. Look as she gets lower and lower down. As we do wanna, we're just going to play one player. Some button batting action. Now, welcome to the exciting world. I've got a selected player here. Look at this. Do I want Ginge? Do I want Minge? Do I want Madge? Or do I want uh, Cindy? Uh, well, I've. Whoa! That's. that's uh, there's, a lot to, there's a lot of choice here. I like the mad one to begin with. That one there. Oh, I've picked the wrong one. No, I want the other one. That's the one I want. She looks like she's directly out of Coronation Street. New face. I've always wanted a new face. It looks like there's some sort of knockout contention here. And I'm in round three. Megadeth Sato. Speciality. Option key, down an A, down and B. So this is where the moves are gonna come out. And as you can see, We've got some bikini clad action ahead of us. Oh, what's happening? Oh me, I don't know what's happening there. Can I just press start? I'm not, oh wow, here we go. Look at the kick, giving it the leg, show the fight. Oh, kicker. Oh, just a kick in the minute. Oh, oh, the DDT. Took me right out. Oh, suplex. She's down, with the jump on her head. Jump on her head. No. Again, she's returned the move. Oh, I've gone for a pin. Two. Never. Only the one count. Picked her back up. Oh, look at that. Scorpion deathlock. The referee needs to look into this. Both girls are looking exhausted. Gonna do it again. Go on. Break her back. The referee. He looks a bit like a, a sort of a mix between uh, Bruce Forsyth and Hawk Hogan. Really working on the legs. Look at her. Go on. Make a pay. There's some commentary going on. I just wish I knew Japanese so I could see what they were saying there in the top right hand corner. There's a lot being said. Oh, she's just doing this all the time. I'm going to break her. She's going she's gonna to have to come out of this in a minute. This is just a killer. The crowd are saying, uh, the crowd are just chanting. The referee to do something. You know, he's got to step in and save this girl's career. She's going to be out of the wrestling game if this carries on. How much more can she take? She's sweating. You can see her sweating. She's changed to the sweating pose. I'm going straight back on the legs. I'll make a... What, what do they call it? What do you call it? Concede. No, it's not concede, is it? Is that what it is? Sure, it's not going to keep letting me do this doesn't make for compelling viewing but uh, it certainly makes for easy wrestling play god everyone's knackered here including me keep pressing the C button come on this girl's got to be about absolutely foobard hey it's changing she's got no elf I just noticed she's got no elf I can pin her how do you pin them yes a one two what she's kicked out of it no chance what? 
Some of this spurt of health. I'll sort her out, get back in the old leg lock. You ain't laughing so much now, are you? Yeah, you try going for a walk in the Peak District now. It won't be such a fun time. Right, now I'll pin her. One, two. Come on, how's she kicking out of this? Kick her in the head. No. Oh, beautiful pin. One, two. No, it's never ending. Kick her in the head. Now, Pinner, come on. No, how is this even possible? Wow, the screen's gone into two. Graphical mania. Oh, beautiful! Beautiful kick there. Come on, this has got to be it. One, two, come on! Punch her straight in the face after that. Surely she's down. Come on, who's this referee? Slow count. I'm just pinning her all the time. She's not even getting up. She's about dead. What? Oh, she ran straight through me. Oh my, I think I'm going to end up losing this. What's going on? Come on. Hit them all. Enough punishment has not been dealt. She's out of the ring. Get on them things and chop her head off. Uh, How do you get on the rope? She's out of the ring. She's unconscious, ref. Can I beat the ref up? She might get back in. Damn. God, they sure know how to drag this out. Sean will be streaming. This is not an accurate simulation. Look at the way she stands to the side there. I know, I've been smashing her head in. She will not go down. No matter what I do. Oh, it said press something about special moves, didn't it? That's what we want. Kick her in the head. Oh, she's dead as a doornail. Oh, she smashed me down, though. Come on, it's got to do the free count now. Jesus, it's like they know I want to go to the toilet. Oh, completely missed her. Come on, she's knocked out. Get on the top rope. Yes, go on. Now we're talking. Now, surely. One, two, three. She's out of there. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Raise the hand of the winner. Fit Pfizer's won. Harness nails the girl. Colonel Sanders top rights. <laughs> Colonel Sanders, unbelievable. Well, I really, really, really need to go to the toilet. It's a bad time. Hardest fight ever. I know. Could we even could we even stomach round two of that? It's, it's debatable. It's debatable. But either way, I've got to go to the toilet. So. Hello and welcome back to another beer review. Well, the glass is empty. I'm definitely going to need to get a drink. Right, we'll be back shortly. No monkeying around while I'm gone. Oh my god! Oh my god! We've been burgled. Left a right mess here. Yeah, looks like they've ate all my food. Cooked a load of it up. Not even bothered washing up the plates, the bastards. Anyway, what were we after? A beer, that's it, yeah. Choose your beer. Do you want A, B, C or D? Make your choice now. You chose pepperoni pizza. No, we're going to have to go. We're going to have to go from the back. Pull out a bit of North Brewing, I think. So, uh, it's completely live on the way back upstairs. Oh, close the door, close the door. Ooh. Right, 
just press the button. So here we are in Coventry looking at this pretty stunning piece of workmanship, great bollard work. Made a real neat job, really neat job. If you've got a job that needs doing, give these boys a call. Excellent work. Here at stage one of Upholstery Company. Yes, thanks, Daz. We're here in the um, gaming basement looking at bubble wrap tonight, and uh, we've got three different types of bubble wrap. In, face, in fact, my favourite three types of bubble wrap. We have, first of all, the kind of um, what you could call high gauge bubble wrap used in the corners generally of um, packing things like PCBs. You might have had a bit of, you know, AV equipment. It goes around the edge of the box to kind of protect against large knocks. Um, this won't really do for, you know, general protection because. It's either, it's either kind of flat or it's, you know, that will blow up. Right, sorry about that. Still got the fight on. Oh, yes. Just uh, popped down to get another beer as well. Because even though I said I was going about 10 minutes ago, I'm still here, obviously. So we've got the final. Hardest fight ever. Don't know about that. I think I've been in some tougher ones, but. Uh, Megadeth Sato versus. Halloween, I say to. Oh, what? Is this the same, even the same ring? So carrying on with a bit of girl on girl action. And I know this was a particular favourite actually of Ian Wilson. I do not to get an Ian Wilson mentioning on every stream. Doesn't doesn't seem right not to. Oh, sneak going in for the pin. Never going to get it. Never going to get it. Oh, beautiful. Go on, punch her in the head. When I did that flying kick, I had no idea where it came from. Oh, unbelievable. What a reversal. Great pin. She's down to no health already. It's going to have to be one of those top... What do I keep pinning her for? It's going to be off the top rope. Hello, Saga. How's the snow in the eastern wastelands? It's not too bad. It is out there. The snow is softening the blow of the devastation I've caused. To somebody else's hedge. We'll leave it there. We don't want any incriminating evidence on this stream. We we'll have to remove it for the rest of the time. Pick her up and come on. She's got one eye missing so far. This is brutal. The referee needs to stop this. Get on that rope. Kick her head in. Go on. No, she's pulled me down. Um. Yeah, Sean's on at eight, so. Apparently he's going to be replying to all your comments at 8. Oh my god, a fly can you believe that? A flying headbutt. I'm bashing all the buttons here. I am down and out. Computers took me to Chinatown here. I'm finished. Well, I couldn't even get the two count. Forget it. God, the back and forth on this game. Maybe maybe there's something in it. Maybe Ian Wilson was right. This is a good game. My health coming back. Every time I strike her down. Oh, look at that. Go on. Beautiful. Beautiful action there. That some sort of time... No. Go for a cheeky pin there. Absolutely no chance. No, no. Will not be moved. Run straight through her. Kick her. Oh, beautiful. That's what we like to see. That's just quite an early game, I think. And I think Suzuki, whatever her name is, she's quite popular in Japan. Ringside Angel, yes. Ringside Angel, and I'm frantically bashing the buttons in the hope it does something. Different referee this time. I think that's played a part. 
Oh. Yes, ringside angel. This was sort of sort of the last last game because I've put I've put the oven on, but uh, and Sean's on at eight. But to be fair, by the time the oven warms up, we could probably fit another game in because uh, I think I've probably had enough of ringside angel for one day. Enough girl on girl action for any man to take. I love the way she always holds her hands up. Sort of that uh, guard that's protecting the nail polish. Look at her get on the top row there, getting cocky. Get out of town. We'll dance, we'll move. We won't fight. No. Oh, oh I'm getting finished. I think I might go out fair and square here. I might just let her pin me. I might just give up submission. The commentary team are, are going for it. I'm going to let her pin me when it happens. Come on. Talk about drag it out. Do the job. Oh, she's insistent on breaking me. Referee, call it off, call it off. We've seen enough. Fagin RS 500 streams at 8 pm. Nice, happy days, I think now. Rastan Sega on the mass system. Oh, it's okay. I'm hammering down again here. Hedgerows. You missed Rastan Saga, does? Yeah, Rastan Saga was uh, something else. Of course, the beauty is that. Uh, you can always go back and watch these streams. So definitely one more game, one more game, and then it's time to cook some to eat and get ready for the spectacular. Still didn't find my phone, so I don't even know if you're actually just winding me up, Matt. You might just be winding me up and I'm telling people there's going to be a stream on when there isn't. Uh, that could be a possibility. If it is, I fell for it. I fell for it. I've gone for it. Hook, line, and sinker. I've announced to the world all six cons concurrent viewers have been informed about a live stream at 8 p.m. that may or may not exist. And that is as, as, as much as I can say on the subject, really. Uh, I've been tempted by Superman before. To invent, I've been tempted by that. It's just some weird stuff in this American package here you know, that we're not used to. Look at this. Frantic Antics, Tom and Jerry. Is that some? I don't know what that is. I'm going to play. That's what we're ending on. This is not going to end well. Tom and Jerry frantic antics. This this is. I've got a. I've got a feeling this doesn't end well. Um. I know Tom and Jerry. They've had numerous games, haven't they? I know there was a game. Oh, high tech impressions. It's not looking good. Beam software. This isn't looking good. Oh, oh dear. This isn't the Tom and Jerry I know and love. This is some sort of new age Tom and Jerry. This is some sort of Scooby Doo fight. Tom and Jerry. Go back home, but watch out for Spike. Get back home. Who's Spike? Is that, the, is that what the. Oh, wow, look how big. Am I Tom or Jerry? Spike's the dog, isn't he? So we've got a common enemy on this. God, this looks bad. We've ended on some real bad notes here. God, you can't even jump on the head to the enemies. Get that fish. Let's not care. Is that the aim of the game? Collect fish. I don't like this game. Absolutely don't like this game. There's so many things to dislike about this game. Is this being an angry video game, nerd? Because I think it should be. What the funk? I can't kill anyone. Can't... Oh. Oh yeah, you can throw that ball at someone. Well, that's handy. He eats old fish out of a skip. Well, a dustbin. It's not a skip, is it? Let's, let's be correct here. That's not a skip. Oh, what was that coming up behind us? Oh, Fire Hydrant is now attacking me. Let's go up here because... Uh, and what, char what character is that from Tom and Jerry? Look at that. There's that, that dot matrix there. It's, I hope that looks as good on your screen as it looks as bad on mine. Who's that? What the funk? Oh, I threw a ball at nobody, a fire hydrant. 
Oh, I can't get this game over 5 out of 10 and I've only played the first level. I don't know if they put all their effort into this first level. This game could get worse. And that's what I'm worried about. Look. What is that? An antique on a unicycle on a penny farthing? Can you go in that door? I said that it could save this game. What was that? A weasel on a motorbike? There's that woman again with a big butt. She's always doing the rounds. God, imagine paying like 50 quid for this. Getting home and realise you bought this. I don't think I've ever made such a bad mistake as that. And I've bought some bad games. Look. What? Come all the way down here for that. This game is terrible. Even for free, this is bad. It's that bad I committed suicide. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. Near a park bench. Picking up some fish. Uh, this game needs picking apart. There's just so much wrong with it graphically. And what is that cat doing now? Nice scan lines left now. Barbara Windsor. Yeah, exactly. Tom and Jerry, quality Sunday night. Spike is the bulldog. Have you seen the new Tom and Jerry live action trailer? It's better than it could have been, I suppose. Rass and our system, we had prawn volivants. Very posh. Scan lines deserted this game. Man, this game doesn't look good no matter what you do to it. This game's absolutely rank. I don't know if this was released in Europe, but I never had the displeasure of uh, hiring this out or buying it. I mean, not that I would have, but this is pretty rough. I must say. I almost think this is homebrew. I think I did that on purpose. I think subconsciously I just killed. Is this Jerry or Tom? Is Tom or Jerry? I don't know which one it is. Look, we'll have to have another game. This is terrible. I can't play this. This is what you get in the American world, you see. RT, Volavant, laughing out. Uh, yeah, I need to have some tea. I'm starving. Right, one more game. They can go in the My Games section where at least get something that's half right, surely. Can't, can't be anything long-winded. Can't be anything long-winded. When are we on? We're on We're on nearly 45 minutes until the launch of uh, RS Fagin 500s. I think it's Fagin RS 500, actually. I always pronounce it incorrectly, which is not... Uh, not unusual for me. What can we play quickly? This is a good one. Super Shinobi. The Super Shinobi. I'm not very good at it, so it will be quickly. Raiding the fridge freezer for food was in from Christmas. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh, this don't work, so that's handy. It's always a beauty of these Everdrives. You don't know what works or what don't. Now this doesn't work. We've got a blank screen. I've got to get back out of the seat. I hope my sink strike comes soon so I can just uh, play with Neo Geo. We don't have to leave the seat to change game. Just such a pleasure. I think we'll go mass system now. I think we'll go mass system. We're going to go some on mass system. I don't know what we're going to go. We've tried a lot of mass system. A lot of mass system. Want something we haven't tried that's good. Tricky. Tricky. Double Hawk. Don't sound good. Dino Basher. Don't sound good. Starring Big Nose. Deep Duck Trouble. Oh, that sounds platforming, but it could be good. Dead Angle. Sounds like a light gun game to me. I think we should try Deep Duck Trouble. I'm trying Deep Duck Trouble. I don't know what it is. I'm presuming it's Daffy Duck. So, Alex the Kid. Oh, is Sean out of hiding then? The Pound Bin Selection. I think we're there. 1993 Disney Classic. Oh, this is... Yeah, this is something to do with ducks. Uncle Scrooge. An island. A boat. And uh, Diffy. Daffy. Disney. Deep Duck Trouble. It rolls off the tongue, that, doesn't it? Deep Duck Trouble. Jungle. So I say we just have a quick look at this and then we definitely call it a day. Whatever I'm cooking, it's going to take at least half an hour. What is going on? 
Man, this is, I'll tell you, compared to playing Mega Drive, this is a bit of a downgrade. Beautiful for mass system. But from 16, going back to 8, I've gone the wrong way here. I should have gone from 16 to 32. You don't go from 16 to 8. It's a jolly little ditty. Too much ice cream for my liking. What? Oh, yes. Now, hold on. Might judge this game a little bit quickly. You have the chilli, which makes me feel like an Indian. Oh, like I could order an Indian. That's a good idea. That would save me cooking anything. I could order an Indian and uh, get it before Sean's stream. I, I'm, I'm going to call myself a genius here. This is a great idea. Yeah, save me cooking anything. I could order an Indian, get it delivered here, and uh, watch the stream. Oh, I don't think there's much of a better plan for Sunday evening, to be honest. Oh, this is bad. That's bad. You don't want to do that to a duck. Oh, chilli. That's what got me started in the first place. Game suggestions. Genesis game, Dinosaurs are Higher. It's Contra-like. Pizza. Oh, nice. Nothing wrong with those red and yellow cables there is. Hey, sure. Nothing wrong with testing composite. I've been spending the last hour fine-tuning my composite signal. Ready for his NES. And you wanted to end on a high, rolling on floor, laughing out loud. Dead, ang dead angles like Dynamite Duke. Games... Oh. Pizza. No, I, I think we have an Indian. I think I'm going to go. Sean's here now, so it's almost confirmed that he's actually going to do a stream. So I think I'm going to go order my food. They always say half an hour, 40 minutes. That's perfect timing. When I'm eating my dinner, he'll just be coming on. Think about that. I feel that's it. I'm, I'm convinced. I'm convinced this is a good idea. So uh, I'm going to leave it there. Many thanks to everyone for commenting, viewing liking subscribing and all the rest of it but uh i'll see you at eight on the uh fagin rs 500 live stream so uh, that's it for now take care out there and uh, be there or be square <laughs> hello it's me your favorite bloody rs fagin 500 you watch watching sega socks live don't forget to like comment and subscribe also support the patreon